It is very simple in MailChimp to create A-B tests. In other words, different versions of similar campaigns to send to see which our recipients respond better with. Let me show you an example of this. So in MailChimp itself, to create an A-B test, we go into campaigns, click create campaign, and it's an email type of campaign. So we click A-B test. We call the campaign whatever we'd like to for our own housekeeping purposes. I'll just call it A-B test for now and click begin. We choose our list that we're sending to. We could choose a segment and so on. You'll notice at the very bottom of the screen that MailChimp is walking us through the steps that we need to undertake for this A-B test. And we click next to go to each one. But we just read the screen and, and uh, respond. So what do we actually want to test? We could test, for example, two or three different subject lines to see which people are more likely to open. The from name, we could change the content, add a different image and see how people react to that. Even the send time. For now, let's, let's test subject lines just as the example. The first thing to say is that I'm using a test list and it's very small. There are just a few recipients in it. As MailChimp say, they recommend at least 5,000 per combination. And we can test three different variations. So we could test up to three subject lines, for example. But I'll just do two for now. How the MailChimp A-B testing works is that we set up our tests, let's call it, our one subject line and our number two subject line. We then select what proportion of our list we want to receive each of those two. So let's say I had 20,000 people in my list. I wanted 5,000 to get subject line A, uh, one, and uh, 5,000 people to get subject line two, or subject line B. Then what I do is I actually set it up and say to MailChimp, okay, look, depending on, for example, the open or click rate, look after four hours and whichever of the subject line has proved best, send that subject line to the remainder of the list. So if my two, two, um, my two tests were 5,000 and 5,000, but I have 20,000 in my list, 15,000 will actually get the winning subject line. 5,000 in the test, that, that proves it's a winner, and in the remaining 10,000 of my list. So, two subject lines, what percentage? Okay, I'll say 50%. I don't have enough people in my list, but that's fine. Um, how would we like to determine it? So, here we go. We could do it by revenue, etc., or by click rate, or by open rate. I'll click next. Right, so I've named my test already, so that's fine. Uh, again, I can use conversations to manage replies, and, and I went through this earlier um, in a separate video. Uh, okay, the subject lines. You can see we can add two different subject lines. Um, let's say that's my one test, and my other one would be, is your dog feeling the cold this winter. Maybe those are the two subject lines and I'm just not sure which will perform better. So that's what I'm testing. I'd add some preview te uh, text here, obviously. Um, um, okay. The from email address and name, we, we can fill those in. Um, the various different tracking and so on if we'd really like to. And I'll click next. So now I will set up my uh, actual email that I'm going to send. And um, for now, I'm going to just do this really, really quickly. I could, of course, use a campaign that I've sent in the past to save template, the theme and so on. But I'll just use the good old trusty one column basic uh, layout by MailChimp because it works so well. So I've just clicked on that. And again, on the left hand side is where we add our content and our blocks of content. And on the right is where we can design or set our branding and where we can add our blocks to our actual message. 
I'll just add the logo very, very quickly. Replace. I'll find my logo, click insert. Okay, I would add the link and the alt text. I would then um, uh, design my email, add my email content. Um, I'd click confirm before sending and I would send my email and that's my A-B test. So what will happen then is, uh, let's, you know, j just using the example from earlier, 5,000 would get my first subject line, 5,000 would get the su second subject line. After four hours, MailChimp will look and say, okay, which of those subject lines resulted in higher open rates? And will send to my remaining list the winner of those subject lines. That's A-B testing.